This movie is Saving Private Ryan, directed by Steven Spielberg. The story to this movie is a soldier has lost three of his brothers in combat, and a group of American soldiers are now being sent in to find him and send him home. As you were, I'm looking for Corporal Upham yes, Timothy E. One thing that stood out to me in this movie was a transformation that occurs. Corporal Upham here starts out as a frightened little translator they find in a base camp, and he transforms into something a lot better than that. So there are Germans there are artillery in here, sir. I understand, Corporal. Yes, um, <laughs> so there are, there are a lot of Germans in the building. Do you have a problem with that, Corporal? No, sir. It's just if you consider I've never been in combat, so I make maps and I translate. Corporal Upham here is a translator. He's never been in combat before, and so far he's not starting off very well with a captain. The weapon in basic training? Yes, sir. Well, then get your gear. Yes, sir. Hey, you want your head blown off, you fancy little fuck? Don't you ever fucking touch me with those little rat claws again? Get the fuck back in formation. Where are you from? Arson? Is it Ted? It's Ruptured, Corporal. As you can see, our Corporal is not well liked amongst the other soldiers. Nobody likes him. They cast him out. To them, he's not anything they should associate with. Corporal, what's your book about? <laughs> hey, what's your rifle? Actually, it's about the. Supposed to be about the bond of the brotherhood and develop between soldiers during war. Brotherhood. <laughs> what do you know about brotherhood? Get a look at this guy, fish. No one likes Corporal Upham, and there isn't a reason why they should like him. To them, he could just be something that gets them killed. He's never been anywhere before, so he doesn't really know what he's doing, and that could end very badly for anyone. Captain, but the rest of us got mothers. There's not the reason why there's but to do and die. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, Corporal, huh? We're all supposed to die, is that it? I'm just talking about our duty as soldiers. Yes, sir. We all have orders and we have to follow them. That supersedes everything, including your mothers. Yes, sir. Thanks, sir. Even if you think the mission's foobar, sir? Especially if you think the mission's foobar. What's foobar? Oh, it's German. Heard of that. It's odd for a German translator to not hear of a German word, so obviously he can tell they're making fun of him, but he just doesn't know it yet. Kevin. Sir? The captain wants to make sure Upham is alright, because he doesn't want to Upham to mess with the mission. Upham is looking for a connection, because that's the kind of person he is. He needs the connection. The captain is willing to give Upham this connection, because it will ensure the safety of his men. The captain really has no problem with this, because in the years before the war, the captain was a school teacher. Making connections with his students was what he did. He reached out to help them, and this is what he's doing with Upham right now. Now, later on in the movie, Upham is able to be a part of this brotherhood and help out and not be a problem. One of the older soldiers who was cursing at him to get away is now, you know, opening up to Upham. He's letting him, you know, feel like he's part of the group. And joking around like he's really a, a friend, and Upham can really use this. Yeah. Fucked up beyond all recognition, right? Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Upham is now ready to be a part of this battle. He's now ready to help the others the way he's supposed to be. He's ready to do his job and here we see it start. <laughs> Up 
Upham now has to get past a group of Nazi soldiers to give the ammo to his friends, who happen to be stuck in a room while they're being shot at and having grenades thrown at them through this little hole. This is where it takes balls to do something. All the soldiers can do is wait for Upham to do his job and, well, he's petrified. Upham has never been this close to death before, and this is a real life situation where he doesn't know what to do. If he should risk his life for the safety of the other people, or save himself, and it's really going to take a toll. Upham? Upham has now led these German soldiers up the stairs to the Americans, and He's sitting downstairs listening to this fight going on, but Upham is too scared to do anything. He just let the Germans up the stairs without warning or trying to save the Americans. It will cost him. Upham has now let two of his friends die, one being shot in the neck and then bleeding to death, and the other being stabbed with his own bayonet. The German soldier comes down the stairs and looks at Upham. He looks right into his eyes and sees the fear. The soldier understands what Upham is going through, and he just decides, I'll, I'll spare this one the horror of dying and I'll just walk away. He knows Upham won't try anything, so he just leaves. All Upham can do now is just sit there and think about, he just let two soldiers, two friends die for the cause of his own safety. It, it's horrible. <laughs> The retreat is on and Upham is being pulled by one of his superiors. He's being pulled to safety. He was supposed to get to the other side of this bridge, but he gets left behind on the German side. He gets left in a ditch right next to the other German soldiers. Upham is now watching the enemy kill his friends and his fellow soldiers. He's hiding in a ditch a few feet away from the enemy. He ends up looking to see that the captain has now been blown up by a tank and Upham now knows something has to be done. He just doesn't know what to do yet. The captain knows that something has to be done. Something has to be done to stop this massacre. The only thing he can think to do to save any sort of lives for his men is to blow the bridge so the Germans cannot get across. This soldier right here without a helmet was one you would see earlier in the film. He was let go by the Americans when the captain realized he could not take prisoners. Before he was let go, Upham became very close with this soldier. Captain, 
this quote unquote friend of Upham's has now just shot the captain, the one person Upham felt close to, the one person that showed mercy to this German soldier. Now that Upham has taken revenge on this German soldier, we see the transformation from a frightened translator in a base camp to a soldier on the front lines who has seen horrible things, and he has now taken the guts to do something like this for someone he cared about. And this is the end of my video essay on Saving Private Ryan. Thank you.